Welcome. Today we're talking with Nick Evans, President and Chief Executive Officer of Circle Collective, a fintech strategic investment collaboration firm. Nick, welcome and thank you for joining us at Credit Union Digest. Thank you, Larry. It's a pleasure to be here today. Great. Well, let's get started. So, Nick, uh, maybe we could begin with a brief overview of Circle Collective. Yeah, so Circle um, consists of two companies, Circle Collective and Circle Fund One. We created these two QSOs um, over three years ago now, Larry. And uh, what we're doing today, um, our mission is to bring fintech to credit unions. It's as simple as that. And so uh, we have, you know, um, been operating for, uh, we, our first investment was April of 2021. So we're almost approaching two years now of investing. But uh, we've created an ecosystem that is so much bigger now than just, um, you know, the investment fund, even though there's always a lot of focus on the strategic investment fund that we've created and in, in the fintechs we're bringing into the ecosystem, the whole ecosystem and how we uh, work within the industry is really the key here. Great, great. Uh, thank you, Nick. So with, with that, you know, kind of ecosystem uh, overview, what are the focus areas for Circle Collective? Yeah, great question. So we we operate under four pillars or four principles. And the first is fintech and credit union collaboration. The second is a strategic investment fund. The third is regulatory modernization. And the fourth is the creation of strategic alliances across the entire industry. And so um, my staff and myself, we focus on uh, all of those aspects every single day. Key th the key, though, around the strategic investment fund, Larry, is that we hired professional fund management. Uh, to manage the, that aspect of it. Uh, we don't think credit unions have the wherewithal, the time, the bandwidth, the expertise to do due diligence, to negotiate in today's um, hypersensitive venture market and mm -hmm. things like that. So we have professionals that manage the, the money per se. And then uh, my staff at Circle Collective is managing the rest of the ecosystem around that collaboration, around regulatory modernization and around those strategic alliances in the industry. Great, great. Thank you, Nick. So uh, you talked about the professional investment there uh, with the strategic investment funds. What is, what is Circle Collective's approach in, in managing those? Yeah, that's a great question. So first of all, um, we have 68 limited partners in the fund. Uh, it's a $252 million uh, fund. And we've probably put 95 million of that 252, not probably, we have put 95 million dollars of that 252 million to work today in uh in right at two years of investing uh today we have 18 portfolio companies mm -hmm. and what we do is we we call them swim lanes larry and what a swim lane is is a segment of the market uh you know around technology so as an example cybersecurity is one of our swim lanes payments lending uh account resolution slash collections um, you get the idea. We've identified about 15 target segments or swim lanes where we're trying to invest in a key technology in that area. And so, like I said, we've done 18 companies so far, invested in 18 companies. And, uh, and lending is such a big, broad, um, you know, swim lane. We've done, um, technically, we've probably done about five companies alone in lending, if you look at all the different aspects of lending. Mm -hmm. And then we're trying to cover the rest of those swim lanes. And what we try to do around that is not invest in two companies that are doing exactly the same thing. So in other words, we're looking at this from a diversity standpoint. We're diversi diversifying our money across the entire uh, spectrum of different technologies that can affect um, credit unions and, and, and make them more efficient, reduce costs, uh, attract more members. Uh, you get the idea. Right, right, great. Uh, thank you, Nick. So with, with all of the things that you're seeing and uh, things that are active uh, already out, out uh, with the credit union members, uh, et cetera, those that are in your kind of uh, nurturing incubator uh, kind of stage, from your perspective, what are the one or two next big things that are coming out that'll benefit credit unions? Well, you know, um, we would be remiss if we didn't pay attention to the economy and the economic factors that affect credit unions. And so if you read, you know, everything you, you read today, uh, we're worried about, um, you know, the, you know, it's, it's no secret that the credit card uh, debt has climbed over a trillion dollars. Mm -hmm. And so what, 
what are consumers, how are consumers going to react and act uh, going forward? And so everything you read is, is that, um, you know, uh, not only fraud, but um, what, what do you want to say? The collections aspect of that is, mm -hmm. is for lack of a better term, account resolution. We think that um, default rates and things like that could creep up. And that's what we're hearing. So with that said, we would look at, okay, do we need to look at something in the collections and the account resolution space mm -hmm. more closely? Is there a technology there that could help credit unions? It's no secret also that, um, you know, unemployment is still low and it's hard to maybe hire people in that department mm -hmm. of a credit union. So what can we do to help uh, lift that burden at credit union? So we recently invested in a company called Akuvo and Akuvo is in the collection space. It's a technology that can help credit unions be more efficient around collecting. Uh, we looked at uh, the entire space, analyzed several companies, and Akuvo caught our attention the most. And so we made that investment. And that was recent, I mean, within the last couple of weeks. And so we hope that that'll help our credit unions and the entire industry uh, with that lift around as delinquencies rise and as, as things uh, remain tight in the employment space, how can we help our credit unions be more efficient around collections? Great. Other thing, yeah, other things I can just, I can keep going. Other things, you know, for the future, um, you know, the future's bright. Obviously, we think that credit unions will uh, maintain their place in the lives of, of our members. Uh, I think blockchain has a place in the future. If you look at identity, and for a long time, credit unions have been focused on blockchain as an identity uh, a true source of identity. Mm -hmm. um, I think blockchain is going to expand into proof of ownership. So mm -hmm. title around um, um, owning your home, owning a car. I think blockchain will have a play in that going forward. The other thing, and this might this answer might surprise you. Uh, I think that uh, it's important that, uh, that, that we feel there are 15,000 fintechs out there in the world. That's probably about 10,000 too many, Larry. Um, and I think there'll be some consolidation there. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to know that we'll keep an eye on that in that um, the strongest are going to survive. So there's going to be some, um, what do you want to say, some rolling up, some mm -hmm. combinations, uh, some M&A, uh, a lot of M&A activity we think uh, will occur where, um, you know, some companies that can only get 10 or 12 clients might have to, you know, find a different way to offer those products and services and mergers and acquisitions will be, uh, I think, pretty, um, it'll be a pretty active market, for lack of a better term, going forward. And we look for how we fit into that, how to circle and our and our credit unions and the money that we have um, available, how does that impact our current portfolio companies? And can we help them in that, in that kind of a scenario, both ways? Great. Great. Uh, all, good points. Good points to think about. Collections and the M&A uh, possibility uh, consolidation in the fintech space. So, Nick, thank you for spending time today with Credit Union Digest and helping us better understand Circle Collective structure and strategy to identify, invest, and nurture technology to accelerate credit unions' continued success. Again, Nick, thank you. Thank you, Larry. It's been, a, been my pleasure and uh, and definitely the interview of a lifetime. Great, great. In closing, thank you for joining Credit Union Digest. If you have additional questions for Nick, please see the link in his bio.